What is your take on the whole existential threat idea or conversation? Uh, to answer this question, we've got to break down war into its main true components. War is fought on three levels, and they all ramp up. And all the three levels are important to answering this question. The first level is PSYOPs warfare. PSYOPs warfare includes propaganda, misinformation, but even education. PSYOPs warfare is the least risky, but the least, least efficacious, if you want to think of effectiveness in terms of make them do what we want now, to enforce our will upon them, as Clausewitz, Carl von Clausewitz argued in his book, his seminal work on war, which is still required reading in every single war college across the planet, because Clausewitz was the, forget Sun Tzu, Clausewitz was the master of war. He fought with Napoleon. Ever heard of Napoleon? He was a general fighting against Napoleon. So he knew war very, very well. Napoleon conquered all of the world in his day. So he knew war very, very well. And he said, all war is ideological conflict. And all war is always ongoing. And war is, can be thought of the micro level and the macro level. There's micro wars between us and our friends when we disagree. There's micro wars between uh, cities, corporations, unions. Anyone who's disagreeing is at war or conflict as far as Clausewitz is concerned. And that ramps up from the micro to the macro. It just, it just it, it, it says there's, there's no such thing as peace. You're always at war because you're always at ideological conflict. Insofar as there's always ideological conflict, you're always at war. If we all agree on what the union should get, if we all agree on the raises, if we all agree on where to eat dinner, if we all agree on whose oil it is, if we all agree on what the money should be worth, then there is no conflict. So he was right to say that all war is ideological in nature. And to stop war, you have to stop ideological conflict. The first attempt to do that that is the most efficacious and the least risky is PSYOP warfare. Propaganda, misinformation, but also education, also indoctrination. It is all the attempts of America to try to turn the rest of the world into America, to put out these movies the CIA, that the CIA sometimes funds, to put out, uh, put out a liberal, democratic, uh, lib liberal democratic uh, 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 propaganda, which I would agree with, by the way. I, I'd wholeheartedly say yes, put out that propaganda because it's the best political system. It's the fairest, uh, so we should do it. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying that's how it works. And uh, as, as Francis Fukuyama said, uh, that will happen and the world will be all liberal democratic. There will, there will be no theocratic uh, opposition in the Middle East. Uh, there will be no, uh, there'll be no autocratic uh, competition in, in the Far East. He was wrong, of course, because they'll push back, but, but that's generally the idea there. So in, in the mode of PSYOP warfare, the question is, will AI be used against us to hurt us in that sphere? And I can tell you with 100% uh, certainty, a resounding 100% for sure yes with 100% efficacy. 100% for sure affecting 100% of the planet. Done. It's already done. It's already done. These AIs already exist that spew out misinformation. It's called social media. It's called Google. We've had it for decades already. Already done. We already have an AI manipulating our dopamine cycles. It's called the FANG. And that's why information is now the richest commodity in the world and surpassed oil for probably, what, the last six or seven, eight years? Because it's our personal data they use to psychologically manipulate us and further use PSYOP warfare on us in that small p, small w PSYOP warfare sense of, of ideological conflict, pushing their ideologies. So that's done. So, so... So is, is AI going to destroy the world? PSYOP warfare? Check mark. Complete. Already done. Already done. And we're moving into this uh, Orwellian state where it's going to get even worse. Where we're moving, the information age is over. The age of opinion written on a web page is over. AI will create all the content for the most part. And AI will therefore need to consume and police all the content. And police the truth for us and police what's real and tell us what's a deep fake and what's not. Because pretty soon deep fakes will be indistinguishable from, from reality. Completely and utterly. So we will need AI to police that. So there's the good news and bad news. And if we have a democratized open source AI solution there, then we can employ the one that actually re represents our political views that could tell us the truth that is truly true. And it's going to tend to factiness, as I mentioned early on, because as Aristotle said, the most convincing arguments happen to have evidence and, and facts behind them. Uh, uh, never, no matter how you deliver them, right, in, in the rhetoric. Uh, the rhetoric was all a book about how to teach Athenian young men to become statesmen and how to deliver an argument the right way to be most persuasive. And it survives for 2,500 years to this day. So PSYOP warfare, check. AI, AI uh, dystopia there, probably big tech truth TM. The step up from PSYOP warfare is economic warfare. Economic warfare is where uh, agents, cor usually corporatic agents, but also governmental agents, uh, uh, entities, uh, uh, monetarily outcompete uh, competing uh, ideological uh, competitors. 
So you and your allies have more money than everybody else. Therefore, they can't afford to go to war with you. Therefore, you stop all wars. It's the step up from PSYOP warfare. It's more effective. It's more to the point and increases risk somewhat. But uh, from PSYOP warfare, but not as much as the third mode, which we're going to talk about. Is that because economics controls information? Like if you have enough money, you can control the narrative, essentially? That too. So PSYOP warfare and economic warfare are, are completely linked on many tangents, for sure. Especially in social media as well, as you just mentioned. Because guess what? That personal data that they can use to, to propagandize us to believing certain views this way or that also make us buy things. And that's the main reason why they do it. That's why our personal data is, is worth so much money, because it's not personal data. People are like, I don't care if they know my personal data. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do, or you should, because it's not your personal data, which was a, a term coined by the corporatic machine. It's your psychometric data. And when I say psychometric data, suddenly you go, ooh, that doesn't sound good. I don't, I, what does that mean? It means exactly what you think. It means your secret desires. It means your kinks and your quirks and your secret desires Google and Facebook and Amazon and Netflix and YouTube and TikTok, they know these things and Instagram and all the social media, they know these things about you. And they, they and so the question is, how sure of you, Josh, that AI will be employed in the future against us in economic warfare, both domestically and abroad? And what effect on the planet will that have? I am 100% sure, 100% sure, it is proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that 100% of the planet, or everyone connected to the West, everyone who has access to a computer, which will be increasingly everybody, will be 100% affected by AI economic warfare, to our detriment, 90% to our detriment. It, we've already passed it. On the macro and the microeconomic levels, there are already AIs been reported that manipulate stock markets, that manipulate crypto markets that create bear markets and bull markets so that the users of those systems know exactly when to buy and sell to make maximal profit. They don't wait for the stock market to go up or crash. They make it go up or crash. Documented fact already exists and is being developed, now here's the good news, is being developed at the micro level so that you too can jump in on this racket and before the, the Fed regulates it, push cryptos up and down and know exactly when to buy and sell and do things like that. Is it safe? Definitely not. Is it risky? Oh, yes. Do I suggest you be very careful before you get into that? One million percent, yes. But it, but it exists, and it's the only silver lining I got there for you. The other way they're going to attack us is, as I said, the FANG. Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, YouTube, YouTube, TikTok, they already know how to manipulate our dopamine cycles from the PSYOP warfare, and this is Bernaysian Psychology 101. Edward Bernays, watch The Century of the Self, a free documentary on YouTube, The Century of the Self. It is worth a watch. It tells you the, the dystopia we currently live in, completely to a T. Edward Bernays was literally, around World War II, Edward Bernays was literally the nephew of Sigmund freaking Freud. I'm not making this up. I couldn't make this up. And Edward Bernays took the philosophy of Sigmund Freud, who got everything he got what was good from Nietzsche, and told corporations and governments, single-handedly made up the concept of propaganda, and told corporations and governments how to single-handedly change the West from a needs-based culture to a wants-based culture. Change just from a, I don't buy it unless I need it, capitalism, to a consumer capitalism that has produced everything, uh, all the benefits and the drawbacks that we see, and it's single-handedly killing the species with climate change, and probably will succeed, quite possibly could succeed. That will be nothing but exacerbated by AI, because AI is nothing but a tool that will help them do that more efficiently. So they've got PSYOPs on lock, you won't even know climate change is happening anymore unless we have democratized open source AI to tell you that's the case. Because all the AIs will say, no, it's not true. And all the, let me get access to the scientific journals. The AI will say, yeah, I've read them. Okay, I guess I trust you, Google. You know, you have such nice primary color branding. How could you be lying to me? You know, because we're all really stupid too at the same time. The AIs will be smart and we're all really dumb. So will that be, will AI be employed? Do we have an AI dystopia in PSYOPs? 100%. Yes, already happened. Do we have an AI dystopia in economic warfare? 100% already happened. The wealth gap between the rich and the poor will only increase. This will be exacerbated by inflation. It's going to cost $80 for a, for a gallon of milk. A gallon of milk will be $80 in 10 years. Do you see people um, standing by and just watching that happen? Or do you see a rising up or a not taking it anymore attitude from the general public as far as the economy and the wealth gap. And uh, we didn't even talk about uh, jobs yet, but that as well. 
Oh yeah. So, uh, so I should, I'll, so remind me about jobs. I'll talk about it. Cause that's the proper place to talk about it in this, in this mode, this segment. Um, no, no, we're sheep. Uh, at the Bernadian psychology, the dumbing down of our education systems, uh, co- ca- capitalists know that the smarter we are, the less we buy. It's easier to sell us when we're dumb and emotional, quite frankly. So they make, they make, uh, you know, I'm not saying racism doesn't exist, but they inflame racist uh, uh, tensions. They inflame left versus right because it, because social psychology is proven coming from Edward Bernays and philosophy. Social psychology is proven that the more angry and emotional and sad we are, the more we buy because we need to soothe. Right? We need to self-soothe. And so we'll, we're on our way to, to, to the march, to march against Trump and buy our pussy hats, we will spend $40 for a, pu- a pussy hat that cost $4 to make or 40 cents to make from a, a slave shop in, in China. And then we will make sure we'll buy a Starbucks on the way, and then we'll buy a T-shirt while we're there. We're not raging against the machine. We are we are f- completely in the machine and cannot escape the machine. Unless you want to be a, a, a Kaczynski prepper in the woods, there's no uh, no getting out of the machine. That, that that's just not possible. So yes, AI is going to make huge social changes in the two first areas of war: psyops and economic. The last area of war. That's the big daddy. That's the one that everyone thinks of immediately when you think of war. And it's kinetic warfare is what they call it. Kinetic in that boom, boom, bang, bang. Missiles and bullets killing people, war. The question is, how certain are you, Josh? And what effect will AI have in that area? Well, I've researched this quite, quite, uh, quite strenuously. And I am a PhD level researcher. So I have half an idea of what I'm doing. And I could tell you that I am 90% certain that we will have a... 5% effect on the civil uh, on the population in kinetic warfare. I'm 90 to well 100% certain quite frankly that we will have autonomous weapons. For sure. They're already making them. Reports have already come out of the military making them and then they're, they're the military is stupid of course because they use brute force thinking. They don't have any philosophers on staff because why would they? So they're like uh they made the drone the, the drone in the simulation turned around and reportedly killed the operator because the operator told it to stop. Because I know why, because in the, in the rule set, they said, don't let anything stop you from conducting your mission. So it went, okay, could stop your mission. Nope, this contradicts rule number one. <laughs> so it didn't follow it, right? Because they're not very bright, but they will be because there's a lot of money. They can hire talent. They can hire bright people. But And, and it will be employed against people. Autonomous weapons already kill human beings, and will continue, sadly, to kill human beings, murder human beings. And uh, there will be collateral damage. I can guarantee you that with 100% certainty right now, there will be collateral damage. You know, and if they are dumb enough to employ their autonomous weapons beside a civilian population and their autonomous weapons beside a school, yeah, that's going to be a bad effing news day. Okay? And I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating that at all, and my, my heart goes out to, to that, well, that's going to happen. But quite frankly, that already happens. Sadly, we already have kids stepping on landmines. Sadly, they're already targeting civilians, uh, thinking they might be a combatant or not, or there's a really important combatant they need to hit there with 10 civilians around them. They make the call that it's worth it, it's worth it and they kill them anyway. Here's the good news. With AI, that'll be better. AI will be far more efficient than human beings at identifying the threats, targeting the threats and neutralizing the threats with minimal civilian casualties. In fact, AI will be employed not even in kinetic warfare first, it'll be shunted back to PSYOP warfare, which is the least risky. It'll just start propaganding, uh, propaganding propagandizing ISIS until they're not ISIS anymore. It'll start indoctrinating Al-Qaeda until they're like, ah, oh, you know what, we don't need to be so angry. That's where they'll start. And then economic warfare will be the end there. It's like, Cut off all their money. The AI will find all the money going to them, cut it off. Done. Done. Before they even get it to kinetic warfare. As the way it should be. That would be a more ethical future. Now, the final question. So what are the chances that we'll have a Terminator or a Matrix-like scenario where the entire population, human population, is destroyed? And I'm here to tell you, with a vast redounding amount of certainty, like 99.99999, there is a... 0% 0% chance of that happening. There is no real, realistic path from here to there. There is no realistic path from here to there. The number of dumb decisions that need to happen at the highest levels of government and corporations and science and academia is like 50 dumb decisions need to happen simultaneously. I mean, dumb decisions need to happen simultaneously. 
Like, for example, all these AI creators, Sam Altman, we've mentioned, Jeffrey Hinton, they're mentioned, others, they're terrified. Nobody wants to be the guy who destroys the world. And the, 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 these, these, these fanciful movies that show us an AI dystopic future are both good and bad. They're bad in the sense that everyone's talking about the wrong thing. They're like, ah, oh, kinetic warfare, AI is going to destroy us. No, 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 no. Stop talking about kinetic warfare. We need to talk about the real threats of PSYOP and economic warfare. That's where it's going to be employed and is already being employed against us. And do you notice how capitalism is so great at skewing the, the PSYOP warfare, skewing the discussion to the kinetic warfare, which is ridiculous? And we totally miss the PSYOP warfare they're already doing to us and the economic warfare they're already doing to us. You notice how that works? That's not a coincidence. So the chances of uh, Terminators walking down your street and shooting plasma weapons at you, uh, I don't know, are you white and do you live in, in the West, in the first world? Highly unlikely. That was a very contentious thing for me to say, but I think everyone sees the truth of what I'm talking about there. If you are sadly a person of color and sadly you live in a war zone in the third world somewhere, which will increasingly grow because of climate change. The third world will be parts of Chicago, parts of every major city will have a third world in them. Yes, autonomous weapons will be deployed there, and hopefully they will be police units and not military units, so their, 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 their kill orders will be uh, uh, much nicer, hopefully. That's going to happen, yeah. But that's not because of AI. That's because of consumerist capitalism. That's the reason there. That's because of climate change. And our, we're not talking about climate change. Now we're all talking about AI. When climate change is the problem, climate change will kill us. 100% for sure, if we do not stop it, climate change will kill us. Climate change will kill us long before AI has ever decided to. Is AI um, accelerating climate change? No, no, no. The amount, the amount, this, this uh, Emmanuel, thank you so much for asking this question. This drives me up the wall. The amount AI actually produces pollution is like in the decimal, inf infinitesimal place compared to the major polluters. Does everyone know what the major polluters are? The major polluters is heating and construction. Food and cars don't even get close on the list. But no one talks about that. Every time I buy an effing plane ticket, they're like, oh, you're gonna burn this many, and like, you know how much little carbon that puts in the atmosphere compared to glass production or cement? Do you know how little CO2 that puts in the air as compared to everyone running their AC all the time and now mourning it more or burning electricity? It's like 10 times less roughly last time I looked. Now, I could be slightly wrong on that number, but the numbers are striking in terms of everyone thinks it's cars. Yeah, cars are a problem, but it's like 5% like of the problem. 40% of the problem is heating and cooling. Another 40% of the problem is construction, which consumers' capitalism increases with industrialization and globalization. And uh, because the, the, everything is getting hotter and colder, heating and cooling increases too. So we have in no way solved the problem. The problem's gotten far, far worse. And they're scratching their heads. Huh, how come we've passed this 1.5 degrees Celsius already? We weren't supposed to do that for another 10 years. Because idiots, it's exponentially growing, right? The, the, way, that, the way the problem works, and no one's talking about it because, again, consumers' capital doesn't want us to. So where's the good news? You're like, Josh, where's the good news in all this? Here's the good news. Humans are smart. You can compete. Get in AI now. Be smart, be lean, be mobile. Have three months of food and water in your house. Everyone should have three months of food and water in their house. And check the water potability. Just, just buying baskets of bottled water won't be good enough because that goes bad after a while because all the, all the chemicals and the plastic leaches into the water and it'll make you infertile and reduce your testosterone. So don't do that. Make sure you're storing your water in stainless steel or some proper way to store water. But everyone should have three months of water, three months of food because there will be supply, supply chain problems which is a fancy way of saying civilization breaking down. That's, that's a fancy way of saying that. That's going to happen for sure. In the next 10 years, even for white people in the first world, that will happen for you. So everyone should do that one. That's good news. It's positive. I've I got a solution for you. It's positive. <laughs> Emmanuel's like, I'm not so sure that's positive. But. Do you think after three months, uh, things will be A-OK? -okay? Uh, I, I, I hope so. I, I do not see cataclysmic society failure. I see intermittent society cessation. That is a 100% realistic possibility that's going to happen. So I see riots like we saw in, in New Orleans. I see, I see riots like we saw after the, the unjustified slaughter of uh, uh, the, the, the poor black fellow. I can't remember his name. Foreman, was that his name? George Floyd. Floyd, sorry, I apologize. Uh, when, when, the, when the officer knelt on his neck, that'll happen. On, that'll be our regular basis. Like in some major U.S. cities, that's already 
Uh, well, if you believe the right wing media, it's already. What do you think will precipitate that civil unrest? Will it be economic? Will it be climate change? Will it be just a mix of everything going south? The answer is yes. All those, all those either ors are actually the same system. E- economics and ecology are the same system. Money is a is an imaginary representation of physical resources. Uh, 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 the, the original Greek word for economics is oikonomia. Oikonomia means the nomos of the oikos. Nomos means the rules, the normative structure that we apply to ruling the oikos, which is the house. So oikonomia is simply the way you run your house, the resources you have in your house. Economics is the way we run the world. And the resources that we use money, that's what inflation is. Inflation is is the trust in the American system is at such a low and will continue to be at a low that the, the dollars are worth less to represent the same amount of physical stuff. The physical stuff doesn't change. In fact, it's actually going down. It's actually going down year after year uh, because of permanent chemicals. Uh, so the physical resources are going down. The money to represent it is getting artificially inflated. And that's why milk, milk is going to cost $80 a gallon in, in 10 years. Easily. Easily. But your wage won't go up either. So imagine, can you, ima- can, can you now afford $80 a gallon of milk? Well, um, the minimum wage in this country hasn't risen in about close to 15 years. So despite corporate profits at uh, all-time highs and the stock market at all-time highs, minimum wage has remained stagnant. And, and sadly, it will remain there. So that, here's more good news. Don't play that system. Don't get a job that's minimum wage. Get into AI. Get into the growth verticals. Get Hustle, get hard, get sharp, get in there. You can do it. Humans are smart. Evolution has made us this way, right? So here's the other thing is they're like, oh, Terminator's gonna kill us. I think we won in the end. I didn't watch all those movies, but I think John Connor and the humans won in the end, which is my final point, which is actually positive. Not only are humans quite competitive, and so you can't be lazy. You gotta get in there, get in AI, make your money. Uh, You can't beat the system. So get in the system, hustle. 